Hi Nourishers! In today's video we are going to be discussing the difference between traditional facials and holistic facials. So in a traditional facial you are typically going to experience steaming the skin, scrubs, um, sometimes masks, chemical peels, acids, and squeezing out the pores to clean them. For the first 12 years in my career, I worked in the plastic surgery industry, and this was pretty much what I did all day, every day to the skin. What I started to notice and to understand was that although sometimes temporarily this would give results to the skin, the long-term health of the skin was not really being honored. And I was starting to see damage show up in the skin that I thought might possibly be from some of these things that we were doing in our facials, which were things that I was taught in school and that I thought were healthy for the skin. So. For the last seven years, I've been practicing holistic skin care and really loving all of this beautiful new information and technologies and techniques that I've been working with that really resonate with what I believe is the truth in honoring the skin and allowing true beauty to come through the skin being really healthy. And so basically, holistic skin care or holistic facials, I will call traditionally bioenergetic skin care. And bioenergetic skincare is the process in which the skin is addressed on a cellular, mitochondrial, and emotional level. Basically, we're learning how to nourish and heal the skin from the inside out through these um, techniques that are really amazing and forward moving and through really powerful plant complexes, we're able to allow the cells, the tissues, the muscles, even the bone to start acting at its own peak performance. Obviously the skin being the organ, when it's nourished instead of attacked, we allow the skin to really resonate in this frequency that I believe is how we have true health and beauty. So there are four aspects of bioenergetic skin care that I practice in my facials and that are also able to be taught to you so that you can do them at home and you can be your own facialist and learn how to have really beautiful, healthy skin on your own. And I'm gonna teach you about those four techniques right now. And so hopefully you can take home some really great tools that you can start using with your own skin as well. So the first technique is nourishing ingredients. Um, the second is chi or energy activation. The third is manual activation. And the fourth is love and gratitude. So. First, nourishing ingredients. So rather than using any kind of chemicals, anything synthetic, any preservatives, anything that is poisonous for the skin, in all of the products that I make for at-home care and for all my professional range of products that I use when I do facials or when I train other technicians to do facials, I only use 100% organic or wild harvested ingredients. Anything that comes from Mother Earth that I would also eat. So that's a pretty good rule of thumb with your skincare. If you wouldn't eat it, don't put it on your skin. And that is going to allow you to be feeding the skin with ingredients that are going to give you the most energy and the most chi in the face. So the second technique that we're using is chi or energy vitalizing. And so basically the chi or the energy that is flowing through the body can sometimes get stagnant based on emotions, based on you know information or um, irritation going on in any of the organ bodies. And what we wanna do is make sure that through the face, because these meridians that run through the body come and show up in the face, we want to make sure that the whole body and all of the energy is flowing through the whole body and that way all of the chi and the energy can start to come into the face. So we use different techniques including some different breathing techniques, um, charging the meridians, and also creating more flow in the fluid bodies and creating more flow in the energy bodies, and then also internal guidance. So just the same that I'm telling myself to speak right now and it's happening, I'm moving my fingers, I can slow down my breathing. I can change a lot of aspects of how my body is functioning. I and you were also in control of what's going on with the smaller energetic aspects of our body. And so when we do these techniques in the facial, I can teach you how to start to regulate and start to create more movement in the chi or the energy body based on how connected you are to your own body. The third is manual activation. 
And this is the one that I teach you all the time where you're doing all the activation on your face at home, two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening. So obviously in a facial, we're doing an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes up to two hours of these techniques. And we are basically activating the lymph. We are activating pressure points, detoxifying waste, um, unwinding all the stress and the trauma in the face which is what causes lines, wrinkles, large pores, brown spots, acne, and things like that. And so manual activation is really one of the techniques where you are hands-on allowing regeneration to happen in your skin, in the muscles, even in um, some of the cohesions in the, in the fascia and also in the bone. And then the last one is love and gratitude. And this one is so important and it's one of my favorite ones. Basically, this is in consideration of what we're affirming for our skin. And when I have worked with people that have severe acne or people that have lines and wrinkles that are so bad that most people would say the only thing that would work is a facelift. What I have found is that the first conversation that we get to shift with them is what they say to themselves when they look in the mirror. A lot of times when I start working with someone, I'll have them do a practice for 10 days where they look in the mirror first thing in the morning and they write down the first three things that they say to their face. And unfortunately, typically what people come back and say, and I understand I've done it to myself as well, they say things like, oh, where did these bags come from? Where are these lines coming from? I can't believe that I look like this in the morning. I'm so tired, I need to drink more water. And really, unfortunately, a lot of people just feel ugly and not good enough and not worthy. And if this is the internal conversation or the internal dialogue that you have with yourself, the results that you experience about yourself and about your face will reflect that conversation. So really beginning to have love, gratitude, and appreciation for ourselves, for the experience that our face is having in this moment, for the lessons and the gifts that whatever that experience is can be for us, and how we can find our beauty within ourselves regardless of what's going on externally. When that internal beauty begins to grow and flourish, the external part of ourselves begins to reflect that internal constitution. And so these are the techniques that we practice in our facials and that is what we would call a holistic facial. And these techniques are things that you also take home and then you begin practicing at home and teaching your friends and we start a holistic skincare revolution. So I hope you really enjoy learning some of these techniques and practicing them. And uh, we will have some more videos where I go over in depth some of these processes if you wanna learn a little bit more about them. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments and I will answer them for you. And I hope you have an organically beautiful day.